Welcome to our website. I'm Dr. Frank Burke, the founder and current director of the Research and Recognition Project. By way of introduction, I'd like to tell you a little about why we started the project and some of what we've accomplished. I first encountered NLP in the mid-70s after 15 years of studies and research in psychology, including a PhD at the Institute of Psychiatry in London, and three years lecturing at Cornell University. Very quickly, researching it became my career passion and obsession. Despite three years of hard work, however, neither NLP nor Cornell University would support my research proposals. Subsequently, I left both Cornell University and my association with NLP. Twenty-six years later, two things brought me back to NLP. The first was the year I spent in New York City after 9-11, where I found that the NLP techniques I was using with World Trade Center survivors were able to remove the nightmares, flashbacks, and emotional problems for most of the traumatized people I worked with in three to five hours. The vision of how much more I could have gotten done with two or three NLP practitioners helping me is still with me and motivating my work on this research project. The second thing that brought me back to NLP was a diagnosis of terminal cancer in 2003. For the next two years I used the NLP techniques to deal with the operations and chemotherapy as well as producing what in Chinese medicine is called an inner smile. Whether or not the NLP techniques aided my actual healing we'll never really know. But the help they gave me coping with the cancer were helpful beyond words. During 2005, it began to dawn on me that I might survive. And at the end of that process, I made an oath to try and get the research done to validate the NLP materials as evidentiary medicine. Without this research, the NLP materials will never be allowed within the professional locations where they are so desperately needed and could do so much good. Just the RTM protocol alone is conservatively estimated to save the United States government five billion dollars, as well as provide immeasurable clinical help for the 200,000 PTSD affected veterans. If you take a look at this website, you'll see we've made a lot of progress since incorporating the Research and Recognition Project as a not-for-profit in 2008. We have over a thousand members and the support of over 40 international NLP institutes. Our board of directors is composed of business executives, university professors, NLP experts, and university administrators. We have submitted over $28 million of university-sponsored grant proposals in the last four years and have the support of over 50 state and U.S. federal legislators for our first research project, the RTM Treatment Protocol for PTSD. The project has a European division with a board of advisors from five countries. We have published the first academic overview of NLP materials titled The Clinical Effectiveness of Neurolinguistic Programming, and the first peer-reviewed scientific article of the neurological underpinnings of an NLP protocol. We are in regular discussions for further research proposals and graduate training in NLP materials with a number of U.S. universities. In dollars and cents, we've collected and spent over $900,000 in money and time getting here. But there's still much more that needs to be done if these clinical materials are going to help people in accordance with their clinical capabilities. I consider myself blessed to be able to be a part of it invite, and invite all of you interested in helping us to bring these clinically effective tools into widespread practice to join us. Thank you.